What's up fam, it's your boy Shrizzy here. I am back, and uh, it's been a long time. This is season two of my Hitman playthrough series. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Um, like I said, this is season two. I got season three, and then I will do a review on this game. Sorry it took me so long, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is New Zealand, uh, Hawks Bay, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like, subscribe if you like my content. Stay tuned for more videos. All right, everyone. Take care. Peace. The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them, and so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible, the truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. At the location. No hostile presence. Understood. Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Bodies, male and female, early thirties, executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. 
This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Here's Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. That the tragic incident is due to human error. Nevertheless, this comes as bad news for the consumer tech giant, which is still reeling from last year's PR disaster. Welcome home, Where Anna stolen Kronstadt fighting drones were employed by... It's Orson. Orson. Ugh, never mind. So far, Kronstadt has been silent about the incident. But CEO Robert Knox is expected to make a statement early next week. Teen? Max? Maximilian? Here, boy. Jared. Terry is all clear. Copy that. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were gonna say that. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. 
the wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problemo. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question, and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now, you will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey. You want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. Life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Unbelievable. I'm gonna turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Tell the house about me. When am I what? You know what I mean. Welcome home, Alma. And guest. I'm staying here too, you know. Least you could do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, um, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right. You and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Funny. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> 
You know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga, like five days from now. I've got no Target idea. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. All this secrecy is starting to get on my nerves. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one. Open, okay? Now that's clear. 
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeyer stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. <laughs> <laughs>